Hello and welcome to another Explain video. I do read your comments and I've received a few requests in Explain videos on various all-wheel drive systems. So today we're going to be looking at the very popular Golf R. The system used here is also known as a Haldex all-wheel drive system and is commonly found in a lot of VAG based cars. So the principles will carry over to other models in the VAG range. Now before we go any further, I'd like to say that the Haldex all-wheel drive system has some major benefits, but also some major disadvantages to its rivals, such as the Subaru and also the Mitsubishi Evo. And I also have videos on these other cars explaining the way the all-wheel drive system works, so be sure to check them out after this video. Now here we have a diagram I've made of the drivetrain on a Golf R. Here we have the engine which sends power to the gearbox and the gearbox dictates the gear ratio between the engine and the rest of the drivetrain. This then sends power through to the transfer case and inside the transfer case is an open differential otherwise known as XDS in Volkswagen speak. This transfer case will send the power to both the front wheels just like any other car but it will also send torque down the prop shaft. In this Haldex system on the rear diff there is actually another clutch. In the majority of driving this clutch will actually be open so the car will technically be front wheel drive. But when locked, the power will be transferred through to the rear differential when that cl clutch is clamped and uh, then the torque will be split to each of the rear wheels through the open differential, effectively making the car all-wheel drive and doubling its grip when accelerating in a straight line. Now then, I did say that there would be some good points and some bad points to Haldex. So we're going to get the negatives out of the way so that we can then talk about the benefits. Both the front and rear differential are open and not a mechanical or electronic LSD. Now open diffs are usually seen as the worst, cheapest type of diff you can fit to a performance car. This is because they send the most power to the wheel that has the least grip, which is kind of backwards when you think about it. Now when reading VAG marketing or Volkswagen marketing, you might hear the term XDS, which can apparently electronically lock each axle. Now you might think that's an electronic differential, but that's just marketing term and unfortunately that is not the case. Uh, this is just brake vectoring given a fancy name. So when you're going around the corner or you're accelerating, um, if some of the wheels start to slip, rather than have a limited slip differential that will limit that slip, it just applies the brakes on that wheel. Now Haldex will run in front wheel drive mode and when it detects slip through a wheel speed sensor only then will it clamp down the clutch on the rear diff. People have termed this system a reactive all wheel drive system because the all wheel drive only kicks in when it needs to. Now some would argue that the permanent all wheel drive systems on some other cars like the Impreza and the Evo are better because they don't wait until the cars already slide in before they kick in. They're already working before the limit of grip is exceeded, which will help them to not exceed the limit of grip. That's where the negatives end for the Haldex system. And I do apologize if I've come across too harsh if you're a Golf R owner, but like any car, there are pros and cons and we have to tackle them. Now, having a car with a permanent all wheel drive system has its advantages, especially on the track when performance driving, but the majority of Golf R, Evo, Impreza, Celica GT4, whatever car it is, the majority of owners will never take their car on the track. Now most Golf R will be used as comfortable, reliable, well-rounded daily cars that can be absolutely savage and spank the majority of the competition on the road. And VAG knows what its owners want and they've built the car accordingly. So permanent all-wheel drive, while it has its advantages when you're rallying or on the track, um, it massively affects fuel consumption. The Evo, the Impreza, the Celica GT4, they're all lucky to get over 22 miles to the gallon combined, whereas the Golf R has a combined MPG figure of 39 MPG. So the Golf R is much more fuel efficient as a result of its Haldex system. Not only that, in Europe, and especially in the UK, 
the tax band is affected primarily by the amount of CO2 emissions a car creates. So the less efficient it is, the higher the tax band. And the latest Impreza and Evo, they have a tax band of £550 a year, which is the single highest tax band you can get in this country. However, the Golf R tax band comes in at just £235 a year. Is the Golf R a bad car? Not at all. It's just the fact that Volkswagen have clearly prioritised where they spend the money on the car. And limited slip differentials, active yaw control, certain features like that in the all-wheel drive system, they're just not features that Volkswagen or VAG have invested in. They've spent the money making the car a more well-rounded car. And we can see from the success of the Golf R, they clearly know what their customers want. So thank you for watching this explained video. Let me know what you think of this video below. If you agree or you disagree with the points I've mentioned, I'd like to hear it. And consider subscribing to the channel if you like what you hear. And uh, there will be plenty more videos like this in the future. Cheers.